cost of cancer is made of the direct cost, which is the cost of care, plus the cost of research, the cost of screening, the cost of prevention, and the indirect cost. Uh, the indirect cost is what we call the cost of friction, which is the loss of productivity and the loss of production. It has been shown by a very large study made by the Karolinska Institute and the Stockholm uh, School of Economy, the Royal Stockholm School of Economy, uh, published first time in 2006 and, and uh, a new version in 2008, where they looked at what is the impact of the, in, of the intake of a new innovative compound on the um, outcomes of cancer patients in uh, most of the European countries and in the United States. And what they've shown is that the, the, two, the improvement with, between 95 and 2000 in the two-year survival of cancer patients, 40% of this improvement is directly related to the, to the speed of the uptake of new compound in a given country compared to the other. The direct cost of care for cancer is just 10%. The cost of the drugs is 20%, the cost of innovative drugs is about 8%. And, and so, if you look at it, you say, how come facing a disease that kills one-third of patients and that kills almost 40% of the young men, we, give, we invest only 10% of the money we spend on healthcare? How come knowing that the drugs that are going to have the largest impact on the survival of these young patients and on this patient in general, one third of the general death rate in my country and 40% of the premature death, how come we spend that little money on the drug?